Welcome back to On the Record. I'm here at the uh, HPAPC um, event at, down in Las Vegas, of course, and it's I'm with Steve Erdman, who is the Vice President of GM Channels and Alliances for HP Software and Solutions. That takes up a whole car on its own. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you coming. So I know you're new to HP, but I know you're certainly not new to the channel, so um, let's get right into it. Um, okay. What's the importance to the channel of software? Well, this, the, the software platform that HP brings to the market is critically important, particularly as you talk about the cloud and the new transformational projects that customers are going through. Software is the glue that keeps it all together. So for our HP partners, they can participate now in a much wider market opportunity than the traditional delivering and supporting software from an ecosystem perspective. So traditionally, um, if you're selling it to the SMB space, we had a choice, you, like the choices were this box, this box, this box, this box, but sure. there was no real, you know, the choices after that were basically for the, you know, the midsize, the really large midsize and the, and the enterprise. Um, the, the, the comment that we hear all over the place is now that you can get enterprise software um, at prices that an SMB can afford. Is that really true? Well, I don't know if that's totally true, but I would tell you that the way that software is being delivered has changed uh, over the years, and that has certainly brought in more commoditized packages that the SMB customers have access to. But I would tell you that even the way um, software goes, applications are going to drive customer behavior. And so if our SMB partners are delivering the types of applications and commanding value for that, then they're going to be then they're going to be sustainable, and you're not going to see the price erode into commoditized pricing. So really, what it does is it gives them a way to hold on to, or what what the channel refers to as stickiness, absolutely with their customers. Um, well, and, and most of, most of our software partners have a very robust services base that goes with their delivery of a license, right? So HP cares dearly about the license that's delivered and the application that supports it because that is sticky and it adds value to the customer in the way they want to run their business. But for the software partners, it not only provides an opportunity to deliver license or sell license, but it also brings in a whole bunch of services that are life, lifetime management services for customers. So it is sticky and it also is very profitable for partners. So we're talking about that, but I, I would guess that a lot of people in my audience don't even have an idea as to what the products are. So there's basically four categories, right? That's correct. Can you go over those real quickly? Well, we, we, have, a, we have a BTO suite of, of products that, that span the life cycle of the, everything from the planning and financial planning of our portfolio, all the way through the application, all the way through the operations, and then through the life cycle management. And now with our cloud center offerings, cloud center is gonna span the end of all of them. So we have a BTO suite that fits very nicely into the cloud center operations and cloud center delivery mechanism. And now we have some acquisitions that we had last year with Stratavia and ArcSight, which add security on top of it. So now security is a key piece of everything that we do from an application suite. I think, I think security is becoming a key thing about everything we do in the world. Absolutely, yeah. It's a whole different world than it was 10, 15 years ago. Very different world and it, makes, it, makes, it creates a huge problem or challenge for CIOs at all size customers, whether you're an SMB customer, whether you're a large enterprise customer, but it creates a phenomenal opportunity for our partners because now they can participate in something that is, is not only mission critical, but it's top of mind of every customer that they're interacting with. So let's back up for a minute. Let's okay. assume that they, we're, we're talking to customers out there, who, or sort of partners out there, who really don't understand a whole lot about the software, what HP does, and I think Unfortunately, and I, not unfor well, it's unfortunate. It's fortunate for you because it's a great opportunity. It's unfortunate sure. for them because they're missing a great opportunity. Sure. And you know, and if they're really not into it, from what you told us so far, I don't think they're going to really get it. So, I'm going to ask you a real simple question, and I know you're new, but I'm going to see if you can give a pretty simple answer. And okay. that is, for a VAR yes. who wants to do, who wants to offer solutions and uh, better products for their customers. What would your software do that they could offer? Like, how do how do you fit in 
from it without any like without getting any complicated about it. Where where do they begin? Well, it depends on what their value add is. It depends on what their makeup. So if they're a traditional hardware partner, mm -hmm. I mean, it really depends. Are they a server hardware partner? Are they a client networking partner? Are they a storage partner? And HP has a robust set of solutions that map to each one of the infrastructure portfolios. So if they're, if they're a traditional hardware partner, then the best way for them to do is identify them. Their, if they're part of the HP ecosystem, that's great. If they're not, then we would love to have them. And then come and identify what, what their core value add to their customers are. And then we can help them map our solution set, our adjacent solution set, to get them involved in the software business. Now the reality is, is not every hardware partner can become a software partner. Uh, at HP we have established a, a cloud link program mm -hmm. that will identify our software specialty partners mm -hmm. with hardware partners who penetrate all, all the markets, SMB market, middle market, and the uh, enterprise market, global market. And they can associate themselves in a partner to partner link where they can help start building their software competency with a partner who's already a current HP partner. Beyond that, we have a tremendous amount of enablement programs. We do road shows, we do trainings, we do certifications, uh, both online and in, in the classroom. So if they, if they really want to take a jump into a total solution cell, including software, which we hope they do, um, there's, there's plenty of ways, but it starts with what their core value is, what do they offer their customers, and then how do we build our software portfolio with them? And our software portfolio is robust enough that we can accommodate every, every type of partner from a HP infrastructure perspective. So most of our audience are trusted business advisors, if you want to call it that way, to SMBs. Yes. And what you're telling me, if I'm hearing it correctly, is that they can get started by working with somebody else who is in the, in the software, you will help match them up and find out where they need their needs and then they can grow from there? Absolutely. We have, and, and last year, HP deployed a dedicated SMB partner um, sales team. So we have an inside sales team, an outside sales team, a regional manager sales team, all dedicated to the HP SMB space. So if you're an SMB partner and you want to get into the software business, we're very easy to work with, very, we're regionally based, so we're local. And so, you know, as long as they come forward and say, this is what we're interested in, we'll go meet with them, we'll do account mapping, we'll take them through the certification, We'll get them we'll, from a recruitment perspective. We'll do trainings with them, so we'll help them build the bridge into the software ecosystem. You know, if, if it makes sense for them. Terrific. That's on the record with Steve Erdman, and hopefully you'll have a fabulous um, career with HP now. Um, I guess that's the second a second fabulous career for you. Yes. It's, thank you very much. Thank Robert. you. I appreciate it.